Hello students, this is Dr. Savita, Department of Chemistry, Maharani Science College, Perumal, Mysore. In the earlier video, we have learned how to distinguish an aldehyde and ketone by an oxidation and reduction method. In this video, we will be learning the reactions of aldehyde and ketone and the reactions which we are going to learn in this video is the condensation reaction with hydroxyl amine and 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine. So, let us understand what is a condensation reaction. So, we have six types of organic reaction and among them, condensation reaction is also one of them. So, whenever a reaction occurs in between two compounds, they combine to form a larger molecule with the elimination of a small or a simple molecule, we call those reactions to be a condensation reaction. So, condensation reaction is an addition reaction with the elimination of small molecule like water, HCl or it can be anything. Coming to the condensation reaction of aldehydes and ketone. So, this is the functional group, carbonyl group present in the aldehydes and ketone. So, when we go to the nature of the bonding, the bonding here is polar because of the presence of more electronegative atom oxygen. The electrons are pulled towards the oxygen getting a partial negative charge and carbon gets a partial positive charge. So, because of the presence of a double bond, there will be an addition reaction and since carbon has a partial positive charge, generally nucleophilic addition reaction occurs. So, all the aids of ketone having this as the functional group reacts with the hydroxyl amine in acidic condition to form an oxide. As I said, this is an example for a condensation reaction because during the addition reaction, there is an elimination of a small molecule like water. So, aldehydes and ketone react with hydroxyl amine to yield oxide. These oxides are important derivatives in qualitative organic analysis. Coming to the detail about the reaction with hydroxyl amine, the functional group aldehyde of ketone, this is the hydroxyl amine NH2OH. We can see a lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen and the addition, addition product, the oxide, can be in the two isomer E and Z with the elimination of water molecule. So, let us take an aldehyde. The aldehyde also reacts with the hydroxyl amine to give the oxide. So, when I take the example of aldehyde, that is the acetaldehyde, reacts with hydroxyl amine to give the acetaldoxamine. So, in the another example here is the ketone. Ketone also reacts with the hydroxyl amine to give the corresponding oxide. For example, when I take the acetone, reacts with the hydroxyl amine to give the acetoxide. Coming to the mechanism of the addition of hydroxyl amine, there are two steps in the mechanism. The first step being the addition of NH2OH to the positively charged carbon or electron deficient. So, here the NH2 behave as a nucleophilic reagent since the nitrogen has a lone pair of electrons on nitrogen. Hence, there will be an addition of nitrogen to the carbonyl group in the aldehyde. We, as a result, here we get an additional product. So, when I look at the addition product, here oxygen carries a negative and the nitrogen carries a positive charge. So, there is a shift of one of the protons from the nitrogen to oxygen to maintain the valency and we get this as an intermediate product which is also highly unstable. So, after the addition, there is a proton transfer resulting an intermediate compound. The second step 
The above addition product rapidly loses a molecule of water from the addition product to give the corresponding oxide. So here the OH is from the carbonyl group and the proton is from the hydroxyl amine with the elimination of water molecule and the final product oxide is being formed. Coming to the next example of a condensation reaction for an aldehyde and ketone is reaction with 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrogen, commonly referred as 2,4-DNP. So, aldehydes and ketone reacts with the 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrogen to form 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrogen. So let us take the aldehyde or a ketone and this is the structure of 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine. So we know this is the phenyl moiety, to, we have two nitro groups at the second and the fourth position and hence we call by the name 2,4-dinitrophenyl. Apart from that hydrazine moiety NH2NH2 is also present in this and hence this is referred as 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine. So, upon condensation reaction, we get the product 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazone with the elimination of one molecule of water. So, this is the general representation of an aldehyde or a ketone and a representation of phenyl hydrazine to give the corresponding product that is the phenyl hydrazone with water as an eliminated molecule. So, structurally, we can also represent 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine as this formula and upon reaction with the aldehyde or ketone, we get the corresponding hydrazone. For example, when I take an aromatic aldehyde like benzaldehyde and react with 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine at room temperature, I get the corresponding product that is benzaldehyde 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine, which is an yellow orange precipitate. And uh, the any aldehyde like acetaldehyde, we get the same corresponding pro, uh, the product that is the acetaldehyde 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazone. So this reaction has a very importance in the quantitative analysis of organic compound because the 2,4-dinitrohydrazine which are obtained because of the condensation reaction with 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine have very sharp melting points. So the aldehydes and the ketones can be identified by the corresponding condensation product. The another thing, an yellow color or an orange precipitate is being formed when a carbonyl compound is treated with 2,4-DNP at room temperature. So, this is used as a chemical test to identify the functional group, the aldehydes of ketone. So, this is an importance of this reaction. Coming to the mechanism of the addition of 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine, let us take an example as aldehyde and it reacts with the 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine at room temperature. So, here also we have a nitrogen and this nitrogen has a lone pair of electron and has this behave as a nucleophilic reagent and attacks the carbonyl carbon resulting in the formation of an unstable compound. So, this is a, just an addition of NH2 group across the carbon which is carrying the double bonded with oxygen to form the unstable. Because of this addition product here, the nitrogen gives a positive and oxygen gives a negative where the valency has not been 
satisfied. Hence, there will be a transfer of a proton from this N plus to O minus, resulting in the formation of addition product as we have seen with the hydroxyl amine. So, this addition product, there will be an elimination of water molecule. As usual, the OH will come from the carbonyl group and the proton from the reagent that is the 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine. As a result, here we are going to get the corresponding hydrazone. Here we have taken the astrolyte as the example and hence the product will be astrolyte 2,4-DNP hydrosome. Thus, this reaction hydrosomes have been formed which is used to identify an aldehyde and a keto. Thank you.